Hey, Evie. How you doing? That's the first thing I said in this recording, because I just hit it. <laughs> yeah, so those are the Sky 2 songs, more Disgaea music. I would love to play a Disgaea game on stream, but those take a long time, so no. So, speaking of taking a long time, uh, Persona 5 Royal, I have that on, stream, on Switch now. I've mentioned it a few times, though. That is not what we're streaming tonight. Uh, it is Halloween, or it was Halloween. It still kind of is in some places. Oh, my mic is still turned up. Whoops. Let me uh, let me turn that way the fuck down. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it is still Halloween in some places. So, I'm going to do another scary game. And I'm good. Nice switch library. Oh, you should see the whole thing. Hold on a second. Yeah, it's, it's big. It's very big. It has six by like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Twenty-seven times six icons on there. Not all of them games, obviously, but that's that's still a lot. That's 162. 162 apps. Sounds like you watched Battle Kitty, and I'm actually surprised that it's good. Then again, same creators from the world of Gumball. Ooh, I like Gumball, so I might have to uh, give that a watch. Anyway, uh, we're stalling here. It's Halloween. Spooky game. This is a game I know someone here really likes. And I've been waiting to play it. I got it on sale a while ago. Game contains flash, fast flashing images. It may cause discomfort and trigger seizures for people with photosensitivity. Blah blah blah. Okay, so yeah, if you have a, if you have seizures, don't watch this. So this is a game called Yuppie Psycho. I have no idea. I have no idea what this is about at all. Um, I've looked at the extras before, and that told me nothing. All I know is I play some dude that looks like a Dachi from Persona Four. Battle Kitty is like the gayest kid cartoon you've seen in your life, and you love it. Nice. Boy, let's fucking go! Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna start this tonight. I will continue this this week. I don't know how much of this I will do, but we'll see. Um, so we'll start with a new game. I have seen, like, the first, like, five minutes of this just to test it out, but I haven't done anything, like, plot-related, so I don't know anything about it. This game does not support autosave. Play the game to find out how to save. Near Automata on Switch has the exact same message for its for its sa no autosave thing. To tell you, you got your husband for anniversary his birthday. Yes, the giant Home Depot skeleton, right? This place is so full of people, and my tie is just too tight. I never worn one before. Yes, he loved it. Nice. Right. The big city really will eat me alive. And this letter. Job offer. What if everything was a joke? A scam? But. Maybe it's real. If this letter is real. It's like it was animated in an Amiga. This would be. These cutscenes are a much higher quality than the uh, than the actual graphics. My first job. The actual graphics are very simplistic. Yeah, here we go. Well, I finally arrived. Hope I'm not in the wrong place. I should walk around. I'm a bit nervous. Maybe if I talk to someone. Hey. So remember, call. Yeah, this game has a weird run button. Run is on Y. Why would I do that? Yuck! Don't see anything useful in there? Hi. Excuse me. The administration of an ordered branch's functional task is directly proportional to the product received from its contractual relationship to the net profit. So this is a. This is. I've been told this game is like Silent Hill in an office, which is interesting. Very curious about how this is going to play out. There's nothing interesting in here. Lobby, Canteen, Initiation, IT Security, Hive, Offices, Archives, Library, Garden, Executive, Management, Rooftop, Centricorp. It's a 
booklet. It says, are you at the top of your class? Start your working life at the best company in the world with one of our deluxe international scholarships. It's a pamphlet. It reads, security, stability, fair salary, and ultimately your welfare are our priorities. Centricorp provides class A citizenship to all of our employees. We spent half a century at the top working for you. Class A is a dream for someone like me. It really does look like a dachi. It's a pamphlet. It reads, Every year, Centricorp provides aid to millions of people in under underdeveloped sectors via social work. Remember, there can be no growth without sustainability. It won't open. Hello, I'm Brian. Nice to meet you, Brian. If you don't mind, would you call me by my last name, Chapman? You know how big companies are with their formalities. Oh, excuse me. You should call me Pasternak, then. Nice to meet you, Pasternak. Looking at you, I could assume it's also your first day at work. Just stay calm. It's normal to be a bit nervous. Yes, I'm here because I got a letter. So, sorry to trouble you, but I haven't been able to stop staring at your outfit since you entered. What are you wearing? Uh, a suit? Sweet lord, this guy. Oh, no. No, I mean, what designer? Who made it for you? Oh, uh, then I have no idea. I apologize for my bad manners, but that seems very peculiar to me. Do you not remember where you bought it? Hmm. I think my mother got it for me at a supermarket. Supermarket? Excuse me, but what class are you? I'm class G, and you? Get away from me, vermin! How dare you talk to me, class G scum! But how? 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 Get out! Go! I'm sorry for... Shut up! What brings a, a piece of shit like you to a company like this? Do you know where you are? Do you? Uh, this is the original Centricorp headquarters. The mythical, nay, legendary building that gave birth to one of the greatest companies in the world. Oh, yes, welcome to the game. Oh, no. I haven't finished yet. This company only hires the smartest, most qualified people at the international level. Students from the most prestigious universities are rejected by the handful for not making the grade. Candidates of proven experience fight for a... No. Calm down, Chapman. I can't keep talking to you. Get out of here. Get out of my sight! Button to call the elevator doesn't seem to be working. There's a camera on top of it. I guess someone's watching us. Job offer from Centricorp. They offer social status upgrades. Accumulated money. Credits can be exchanged for goods and food. That's fine. Controller. Move, inventory, run, menu, interact, back. Next item, previous item. Load soul. Don't show us it's not load, it's load soul. That was my dummy file. There's also this file here, zero. I don't know what that's about. I shouldn't leave until I find out what that letter is all about. Oh, the elevator doesn't seem to be working. Just tell yeah. What else can I do? Hello, my name's Brian. Wow, you're very casual. My surname is Hicks, but you can call me Kate. Ah, oh, that's right, sorry. I'm not used to this. Mine is Pasternak. No, 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 call me Kate. It's more natural. Are you from the suburbs? Yes, I'm G-Class. I hope you don't mind talking to me. <laughs> I guess you met that blonde guy? Does this blonde have an E at the end of it? There's always a lot of very suck-up people working downtown. Oh, does that mean you're not from the capital? I was born in Class E, but my father got a job here and my family was able to ascend through the ranks. How lucky. So are you also here because you got a job offer? Yes, I finished college and passed all six entrance exams. Super excited. I'm sure you know how hard it is to get a job here. There were thousands of candidates. Yeah, he's an asshat. <laughs> I work in dis 
Disaggregate analytics, by the way. What's your specialization? Specialization? Um, let me guess. Managing redundancy? Uh, perhaps combined programs? Well, wait, 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 wait. Network protocol systems? Management of vertical bases? Structural data calculus? No, I, I've only finished my basic studies. Oh. Whew. What am I even doing here? It's impossible for a Class G to get a job at a company like this. That letter must have been someone's idea of a joke. Letter? Take a look. Brian Pasternak, you've been selected for a role within Centricorp staff. This job upgrades your status to the Class A category permanently. It was delivered to my house a week ago. I thought I... I don't know. Now that I'm here, it's clear this was a mistake. I'm an idiot. What do you mean a mistake? You've directly secured a position at Centricorp. To me, this sounds like the opportunity of a lifetime. Cheer up, man. But I don't have the proper education, or... This is an important company. Surely they do a thorough scan of every student in the country. Maybe they saw great potential in you. Dude smoking in the building. Mr. Chapman, please enter the elevator. <laughs> they always call the most important people first, understand? Of course you don't. I could see from your face how ignorant you are. You see that little light on the elevator that marks the floors? The higher you go, the more appreciated you are. The ninth floor, the managing directors. That's my destiny. Goodbye forever, beggars. He should be class B for bitch. Anyway. It stopped on the second floor. He wasn't too important, I guess. <laughs> Miss Hicks, please enter the elevator. Oh, oh, I'm a bag of nerves. I'm a bag of nerves. Good luck, Kate. Thank you, Brian. How's the volume, by the way? Sounds okay? Crank it up like one notch. I hope we meet again so I can invite you out for coffee. Ah, so do I. It's good? Okay. See, so yeah, I bought this game a few months ago. It was on sale. I was like, oh, I'll stream this around Halloween. Because a certain someone in chat told me this game is very good. Up to the fourth floor. She must have studied hard to get so high. Hmm. Guess I'll have to wait here until they call me. Unless that letter really was a joke. Actually, maybe I should show that letter to the camera. I can open my briefcase with X. Hello, security camera gentleman, or, or lady. I received this letter with my name, see, and it says you've given me a job. Is this some sort of prank, or... Hello? What an idiot. Looks like I came all this way for nothing. Looks like I won't be having my first job in the capital after all. And it's a long journey back home. Music's a little ominous. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Title drop. Oh my god. Okay. And yeah, no wonder they're putting the seizure warning on that. So a yuppie. A yuppie's an outdated term, but it's, um. It's actually, that's a little too, too loud. Let me crank it down to two notches. A yuppie's a bit of an outdated term. It's kind of referring to, like, a hip young person who flaunts their social and work status through, like, buying stuff. So me, essentially. When I- when I spend money on stupid shit that I don't need. Um, that's- that's- that's what a person- Nouveau- Nouveau- Nouveau Rich. Rich. Reich. That's another term for it. But, uh, yuppie is, like, an outdated term that kind of means, like, a young person who flaunts their status. 
top floor. This has to be a mistake, right? I know a game of crazed yuppies, whatever that means. Hmm. Clearly, I like to learn stuff, yeah. There's a door, but it's locked. Clearly, we're not playing that as, as, that as our character has a tie, yeah. Not liking the blood. It's a little, uh, unsettling. Different sized pyramids. Probably got some artistic meaning. Our remote control, but it doesn't work. I need two batteries for it. We're not gonna comment on this. Modern art. Expensive vases, but... Covered in... I wanna say red paint? There's red paint everywhere. These look like regular spheres. Don't understand much about modern art. Kill the witch. Kill the witch? Um... This is just some sort of eccentricity in the big city, right? The Central Corp's a very important company, so... Who am I to judge the value of this bloody art? It's probably cow blood. It must be worth millions. I could sit down, but better not. There are cameras everywhere. Salary man tail, yeah. Looks like a contract. I, Brian Pasternak, declare that I accept the job offered by Centricorp as described in the attached annexes, at which my salary will consist of 10,000 credits per day, plus bonuses for achievements and maintenance, and promotion of Class A. 10,000 credits a day? That's a fortune! Wait, 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 this could be a trick. Let me read those annexes. According to the pre-established norms of the jurisprudential doctrine currently enforced, the job applicant agrees to provide his professional services in accordance with the classification system of Centricorp. The excuse me, shouldn't have eaten that pumpkin-flavored ramen before coming here. Currently enforced, the job applicant agrees to provide his professional services in accordance with the classification system of Centricorp by accept. Oh wait, oh, I can re I can move up. Okay, I see. By accepting the stipulated payment, the plaintiff accepts all subsidiary clauses within this document indefinitely or until termination of the contract. This contract can be extended according to labor circumstances or at the request of the trade union association. Acceptance of this contract entails a total or partial waiver of privileges allowing individual integrity in favor of being promoted in social status, as dictated by Resolution 1138. Uh-huh. I can't make heads or tails of this. Should I sign the contract? Come all this way. Can't back out now. Everyone would think I was a coward. I'll sign it. Deal with the devil. Yes, yeah, game is achievements. Wow, what just happened? Well, I signed it. Now what? signing this contract. Salary man time, yeah. Computer load up, salary man. I meant to hit the bell. Floor six, not suspicious, yeah. Can't leave so soon, I just got here. I know there is an ending if you leave, like, right away without signing the contract, but we'll do that another time. Okay.
It's a pamphlet. It says, Exhibition in Honor of the Devil's Blood. Locked has a security device that's quite complex. Introduce yourself as a man of wealth and taste. Uh, BX. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> that noise. Trees? Inside the building? Remind me of the Porky building from uh, Mother 3. Wandering around the dark without a light. I'd rather not wander around here even if I had one. Hello. Who, who, who could notice things like these? That the goblin likes to smoke as much as he likes cheese. He's rhyming. Lights aren't working here. Definitely not going in there without a light. QB wants to know your location. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on there? Controller's still kind of wonky. This is the archives library. Oh, floor six isn't even on the thing anymore. It's not on this list. It's a multi-button screen. I think it's best not to touch anything yet. I don't know if it's good that I'm hanging around where I'm not wanted. I don't see anything useful in here. Got one candy bar. Oh, it's a Snickers. But it just this candy bar. It's empty. Of course, going on inverse, yeah. Someone ripped this painting to shreds. The plaque reads, In honor of the Blessed Virgin Am. Locked. I'm not me when I'm hungry, you're right. Covers a bit of health. Oh, here we go. This is where the old lady walks in and then kills me, right? Looks like a blank page. Wait, it has a watermark. I'll keep it in my briefcase. Got a mysterious sheet of paper. Hello, are you the new guy? Yes, hello, my name is Bri- Uh, Pasternak. Uh, my name is Pasternak. Nice to meet you, Briar Pasternak. No, no, it's just- Haha, <laughs> it's a joke, man. I'm Hugo. Your new workmate. I'm here to show you around. Sorry, I'm a little lost. I get you. If you come from the suburbs, the big city can take a lot out of you at first. But don't worry, you're in good hands. I'll show you how things work around here. Thank you. Now this is the fifth floor. Here we mostly perform management tasks. Work with databases. Well, you know, computer stuff. There are a few offices in a meeting room, and the bathroom's in the back. And this is the receptionist desk. Though the receptionist isn't here at the moment. Everyone here does their own thing. That guy just walked right past you. Look at that guy coming in, for example. They all look like they're slouched over. Hey there, partner. Let me introduce you to Pastor Ne- See, he didn't even notice us. One guy even comes to work just so he could sleep. <laughs> Come on, follow me. I'll show you our office. I gotta say, these floors don't look too clean for, a, a, like, a high-tech, important... Fortune 500 company or whatever. Welcome to your new office. Right now, it's a bit empty since a few of the employees are on sick leave, but... 
Look who's come out of her lair. This is another one of our co-workers, Sosa. No, no, it's accurate. Hi, I'm Pasternak. Haha, <laughs> she's a bit shy at first, but when she gets started with one of her stories, there's no stopping her. Her. Well, let's get on with the tour. <laughs> that face. I don't know if that's good or bad. Over here, we have the water cooler, an important staple of our office. There's not much science involved, it's just free water. When it's empty, someone will have to come and refill it, which can sometimes take years. And here we have the cornerstone of any office, the coffee maker. We prepare a good amount of coffee every morning. What do you say we use a little to replenish our strength? Oh no, there's no coffee left. There's a legend that this office is home to a dark creature who never sleeps. They say she only drinks fresh coffee and never, ever prepares more than when it's finished. Right, Sosa? <laughs> so then, do you dare tempt the beast by making some more coffee? Of course, what do I do? Well, first we'll need water and coffee powder. You should be able to find some in here somewhere. Lots of documents, but nothing I could use to make coffee. It's empty. Sosa hides in there, sometimes. It's an unplugged wire. A uh, unplugged wire? Okay. It reads boss. Better not bother him. There's an air duct, but it's too high. I would need something to climb on. Why are you thinking about climbing in there? I don't need to make any phone calls at the moment. Don't see anything useful here. Photocopier. No time to use that now. Hey, that's my desk. Don't mess it up. I have nothing you can use. I'm sorry. I don't see anything useful here. Something in there. A packet of coffee powder. Oh, it was in the trash. You go, I'm not sure this will work. It was in the trash. Oh, it'll be fine. Blow on it a little and it'll work perfectly. Better not... It'd be better not to bother her. There's another candy bar. Got one cup of water. Okay, now that you've got the magic ingredients, just turn on the coffee maker. There's a small amount of health. Can you combine with other things to make meals? Add the water in a coffee pot to make coffee. It's blank. The watermark is a snake-like figure. Oh boy, a slice of bread! Plain white bread, recovers a little bit of health. Add two slices to some cheese to make a sandwich. Wow, so there's some there's some crafting shit going on in this game, huh? Alright. Do like to brew some coffee? Yes. Would you like some coffee? He would be so proud of me. Coffee gives you much stronger energy boost than a plain cup of water. Water's really only good for showering. Well, I think that's all the basics. Do you have any questions? Uh, what exactly is my job? Do you really want to start working already? You've only just arrived. Oh, I just realized I forgot to teach you one of the most important things about working here. The photocopier. You'll need both ink and paper to print copies with it. This one's already loaded. You could use it to print important pieces of data, like quarterly figures or work documentation. But let's face it, those are lower, lo lower floor tasks, aren't they? We here on the fifth floor can use this wonderful device to do fun things like photocopying our asses. <laughs> I had a feeling he was gonna say that, but I didn't wanna I didn't wanna I didn't wanna brace myself for that. What? Oh my god! Okay. Does this game actually get scary? Let's see if my ass portrait came out well. I think I should have done it double-sided. Ha 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 ha. Come on, it's your turn. Uh, no, no thanks. Come on, man, you'll understand how funny it is once you've done it. I guess you don't have to do if you're... Wait, what? I guess if you don't have to do your ass if you're embarrassed, why not use your face instead? Creepy pasta Dilbert. My face, but you just... Let's see. 
Oh no, it's out of paper. Ah, oh, well, what a pity. Uh, another time, perhaps. No, come on, man. You're the only one I could do these things with. Sosa's a wuss and never dares. I can't believe we don't have any paper in our office. Is there some in your briefcase? Hmm. I picked up a blank sheet off the floor earlier. That might work. Of course, any paper works. The important thing is to put your head inside the machine against the glass. Use the mysterious piece of paper. Oh, this will go over well. Photocopied soul. Wow, this sure is shiny. What just happened? Which paper? What? Well, well, I see you know how to take care of yourself, Pasternak. So then, what's my job exactly? Like I said, if you really want to start working already, you can use that old computer next to you. Someone will relate to you your tasks. This one? You should turn your computer if you want to know what your responsibilities are. Let's see, how does this old thing turn on? Oh, this doesn't work. Looks like there's no power. I suppose I'll try plugging in this wire. Oh, look at the... Wait, why are there four save files? Does it make a... Oh, I see. Does it only make a save file at certain points? Like, it's not actually, like, saving. It's just checkpoints. Well, then why is there a time? Why does it make time? Because, like, this... This was from February. <laughs> you need an ID card to access this machine. ID card? ID these nuts. Well, even the saves are weird, yeah. Uh, sorry to bother you again, Hugo, but the computer says I need an ID card. There was one from 1972, yeah. Ah, true. Normally they get sent to the boss's office. I'll see if yours is already there. Hello? Mr. Pasternak? Yes, it's me. Pleased to meet you. I'm your boss. Hugo told me you don't have your ID card. Seems there's been some kind of administrative error. I apologize. Oh no, it's fine. Looks like they sent your ID card to another office, which you have to go... No, oh, excuse me. Looks like they sent your ID card to another office. You have to go to Office D, which is on the same floor as yours. Office D. Got it. Thank you. Would you go have this in his drawer? Can of cat food. Found it in Mr. Hugo's desk. It's a photocopier, but I don't have any paper. Locked. The camera's a little weird. I'm not I'm not a huge fan of how it like moves around a lot. These are decorative pictures of dried branches and seeds. Nothing. A sheet of witch paper. Nice. Nothing interesting here. So I think the paper, the papers are allowed, what allow you to save. This is like very Resident Evil-ish in terms of how the save system works. Office B. A. Hey. They're photos of the employee of the month. You goes in all of them. Won't open. It's a vending machine selling candy bars. Candy machine, candy bar costs 150 credits. I don't have enough money. Hey, there were 30 credits in there. If you need help, hit you up. Okay. Wow, it is way too dark in here. Nothing interesting here. <laughs> <laughs> not 
something interesting in here. I'm not touching it. So you candies. Trick or treaters are few in number tonight. Yeah, we never get any trick or treaters here. Nice a candy toilet candy bar. Sweet deal. <laughs> Wet floor. I don't know if anyone's cleaned this building for years. This door stuck. It won't open. Door stuck. Oops. Excuse me. Do you want a cup of water? Of my water? <laughs> okay, but it's just regular water, right? Probably shouldn't have said yes to that. <laughs> Toilet agua, yeah. <laughs> Why is everyone here so weird? Oh, come on. I understand a lot of these charts, but I'd say this company seems to have its ups and downs. You were too working in the corporate world. What is that? It's horse shit. Oh, that's the Renfair in a nutshell. Let me tell you, you walk around there, it's. Mm, gotta get used to the horse shit smell. Because it is very strong. Office D. Sofa's blocking the door. Maybe I can push it out of the way. Wow, it's way too dark in here. Hello? There's something written on the floor. It's a trap? This this isn't funny. Turn on the light. The Sky 1 and 4 is 65% off right now, so I picked up the Sky 1. Nice. The Sky 1 is really good. Um, I've only played 1 and 2, but 1, 2, and 5 are like the really... Are like the best ones, as far as I can tell. I know everyone, a lot of people love five. Ah! What? Oh my god, that actually hurt. It's empty. Oh god. Doesn't restore a lot. Hello, do you know where the exit is? Goodness, he's tied to the chair. What happened here? I'm going to try untying you. Let's be tied to the back. Oh, budge. Yeah, I'm not sure I could help you just yet, but but perhaps the, between the two of us, we could find a way out of here. Oh, he's got a light on him. Can't push the chair with these wires, and they're too tangled to move. This air deck's open, but it's very high up. I would need some help if I wanted to climb into it. Oh, it's coffee powder.
damage, Chief. Hardboard box it seems pretty sturdy. Any bar. Cardboard box would stand a lot of weight. I'll each again. I should try stacking more boxes. Oh. That cabinet looks like it'll fall over at any time. There's a slice of bread there. Help me. Oh. Uh, oh no. There's nothing interesting here. Are you sure about that? I'm sure there's got to be a way out in the back. What is a yuppie? Uh, a yuppie, I mentioned this earlier, a yuppie is an outdated term. It kind of means a young person who flaunts their social and economic status through, like, flashy purchases. So, like, if you're, if you're a young person and you have, like, a well-paying job and you show that off by buying, like, a fancy car or, or like, a really nice suit... Uh, back in the day, they would refer to you as a yuppie. Run. Run, hold Y. What? Oh no. No, 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 no. What was that? I have to get out of here as soon as possible. Midley thought it was some sort of fish. Oh, like a guppy. Yeah. I need to get out of here. Goodness, what was that? What's going on to this company? Hey, you! Please, we need to call for help. Boss. Boss? Hello? Hugo? What's up? You seem look like you've seen a ghost. A monster. There's a monster in the office. A what? I went to Office D and it was, I don't know, a nightmare. I think I understand. 
That monster you think you saw is actually a little fellow who went a little crazy a few weeks ago and locked himself in his office. No, 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 what happened in there isn't normal. There was a guy tied to a chair and dozens of employees hanging from the walls. You've got to tell someone. Well, man, I, I don't think there's anything like that going on here. I swear, there were coffee makers and monitors flying through the air. <laughs> don't tease me, Pasternak. And besides, why'd you go into that office anyway? We blocked it off with a piece of furniture to avoid any problems. Well, the boss called me and told me I'd find my ID card in there. Huh? Your ID card's right here on the table. They're always left here. But, wait. This office is a total mess. And what are you doing sitting in the boss's chair? Oh, did I not tell you? There aren't any bosses at this company. There's not a single one in the entire building. What? I know it sounds a bit weird, but they've all gone crazy and left in most cases. Our last boss locked himself up in this office for years until he, one day he just ran away. Who knows? Stress, perhaps. Wait, but if there's no bosses, who called me? Just some joker, I suppose. And we just treat this as normal. But up, up, but up, up. Stop worrying about it. It'd be best if you took your ID card and started work as soon as possible. Oh, did I say work? Well, don't try to do too much. You wouldn't want to go crazy like that monster. <laughs> More sus than you would like. Now that's funny. <laughs> now that's comedy. Yuppie comedy. Got my ID card. Oh man, a slice of cheese. Yum. Yuck. Nothing interesting here. Oh, sheet of witch paper. Covers a little bit of health. Add two slices to bread to make a sandwich. Or add to two slices of bread. Yeah. Soda. Covers a bit of health. Coca. My life kind of hurts. Can we, can we... Whatever. Hey, I'm having a bit of doubts about my job right now. It'd be best if you turn on your computer, found out what your responsibilities are, and started ignoring them like the rest of us. Overdoing things can be bad for your mental health. Obamna soda. <laughs> Hello. Never used one of these machines before. It's a computer. How do you not know what it is? How do you use it? Lash is lost, I see. <laughs> she does kind of look like Lash. It's like an older Lash. Loading Sintranet. Hacking into the mainframe. Wh what? I'm back. Promise I'd make some food or it's all good. What is this place? Could it be another trap? Another freak! I need to get out of this nightmare. Oh my god, Mickey Mouse, Robo Mickey Mouse, wow. Multiple people with the Mickey Mouse reference. It's it's Michael, it's Michael Roden. Great Disney affiliate. We're in the vaporwave zone now. Mr. Pasternak. <laughs> I like that cartoon sound effect. Welcome to Sintracorp. 
Uh, are you going to kill me? Oh my god, it's a Vectroid. Remain calm. I will not hurt you. What is all this? Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sintra. I'm in charge of guiding you through your new job. Okay, but what's this green world? A second ago, I was in the office. You are connected to Sintranet, our corporate interface. Here you can track your tasks, receive messages from your colleagues, and consult me on any topic. Point of interest, you just received your first message. If you wish, you can read it by activating it. Welcome to Sintracorp, Mr. Pasternak. I hope your time here will be prosperous, productive, and lasting. You sent this message to me, right? Correct. If you are agreeable, I will proceed. Ugh. If you are agreeable, I will proceed to explain the responsibilities your occupation entails. You thoroughly studied the contract you signed earlier, correct? Uh, well, actually, it was so long. There were a lot of unfamiliar words. I, I kind of got lost. Do not worry. I will parse the information from it myself. According to the pre-established norms of the jurisprudential doctrine currently enforced, the job applicant agrees to provide his professional services in accordance with the classification system of Centricorp by accepting the stipulated pay 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 payment. Sorry, I'm glitching out. The plaintiff accepts all subsidiary clauses within this document indefinitely or until termination of contract. This contract can be extended according to the labor circumstances or at the request of the Trade Union Association. Acceptance of this contract entails a total or partial waiver of privileges, allowing individual integrity in favor of being promoted in social status, as dictated by Resolution 1138. Excuse me, could you just tell me my responsibilities directly? Of course, the focus of your work at Centricorp is on a single goal. Exterminate the creature called Witch. What? Exterminate the creature called... Yes, I heard you, but I have to kill a witch? That's a joke, right? You have been hired as a witch hunter. Okay, okay, look, I'm not sure what's going on at this company, but I don't think I want to hunt anyone. A witch? Seriously? I will now describe the details of your work. No, I don't want to know. There's definitely been some sort of mistake. This icon marks your first task. Locate Hexenhammer. How do I get out of here? Van Salary Manison. <laughs> Please, Mr. Pasnak, allow me to finish my explanation and I will show you the way out. Sintra, load up Celery Man. Thank you. Due to a lack of information regarding the witch, your first task will be to locate Hexenhammer, a witchcraft treatise written in the 15th century that describes how to identify, hunt, and execute these unique creatures. I mean, we're talking about witches, right? Witches. Centricorp has acquired a copy of the Hexenhammer, but the location of the book is currently unknown. According to our most recent records, the book should be somewhere within the company's library, on the 7th floor. It is recommended that you begin your search there. Okay, are you done? Yeah, I'm done. I must also inform you that, for retrieving the book, we will provide you with a bonus of 1,000 credits. Hey, Sintra, look, thank you very much for the offer and all that, but hunting witches isn't my thing. Bopping music. That's called uh, Love on a Train by John Ty and uh, Jeremy Lee Leahy. And it's uh, it's used in the Tim and Eric sketch with uh, Paul Rudd called uh, Celery Man. Which, if you haven't watched, it is a... It, it's, it's two minutes well worth your time. Oh, shit. That's what happens when I readjust... Okay. Hey, Sintra, look, thank you- Alright, I came here thinking this would be a normal job, but it's getting more and more bizarre by the minute. Maybe it'd be best if you found someone else to take my place. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm sorry to hear you say that. You are free to leave at any time. If you'd like to disconnect from the system, please activate the output icon.
I hope you will reconsider our offer. I will be here whenever you need me. Tell me about that book again. Okay. Is it a normal book or will it be some sort of dangerous book-shaped monster? Put in my book records. It is a common book. Hmm. I'm not sure I believe you, but... Okay. It doesn't seem that complicated, I suppose. As of this moment, you have made no progress towards completing this task, sir. I encourage you to begin working as soon as possible. A productive worker is a happy worker. talk about. Can you tell me more about the witch? We do not have much information regarding her, although there have been indications that she has been living within the building for decades, tangibly affecting the company's business development. Because of this, Centricorp devised an eradication plan and began hiring specialized witch hunters. But I'm not a hunter. I only just finished basic education a month ago. Don't you think this could be a mistake? The company conducts a rigorous assessment of its candidates before hiring, Mr. Pasternak. I can assure you that the margin of error is minimal. But I don't know anything about witches. That is why your first task is to locate Hexenhammer. This treatise on witchcraft will teach you how to achieve your goal. Do not doubt yourself, Mr. Pasternak. The company has complete confidence in you and will support you however it can. What are you? Hey, you. I mean, what exactly are you? I'm an artificial intelligence created in 1973 as a promotional image for Centricorp. I was later incorporated into its computer system as a guide and companion for the workers. In 1973? I thought your technology would be more... modern. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Mr. Pasternak. In any case, I hope that my mature experience can help guide you to the successful completion of your mission. If you would like to review information regarding the status of your current tasks, proceed to the desired icon and I will inform you. Centricorp ID and Centronet login. Before you leave, I have one last important warning to give you. Your work here is confidential. You cannot disclose to anyone your status as a witch hunter or its related responsibilities. In the eyes of your partners, your work will consist of consulting on systems and databases. What? In the interest of your own well-being, I hope you will not reveal this secret. See you soon, sir. Hey, you've already connected to the system? That computer's a little old, so you might have some sort of outdated software, but it should be alright for the basic stuff. Did you find out what your responsibilities are? Yeah, well, it looks like some assorted chores, if you can call killing a chore. Kill? You have to kill somebody? Eh, ah, no, 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 no. Kill time. Oh, <laughs> I see you got the hang of it now. You're already thinking about lazing around, aren't you? Yes, well, actually, I'm not sure I'm cut out for this job. Oh, why not? You're in the big city. Everything's just so much faster and just different. I was thinking I might be better off going back to the suburbs. It takes a little time to get used to it, man. Don't worry. And we can always give you a hand if you need it. Look, if you're really feeling stressed, go relax in the canteen on the first floor. Have a snack. Chill for a while. Take it easy. It's your first day. How's your work going? I'm adding dirty jokes to the fourth floor's intranet message board. Gotta give them something to laugh at. Oh, I met the woman in the lobby who just started working here. Well, 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 a new bee. B. We call the fourth floor the hive. It's full of little busy bees who want to work who work without stopping. Not like us, we're more like the drones. <laughs> Hello. I'm not liking how my health is just not refilling.
it's just like permanently low. And going back in there. So like unsettlingly quiet in here. <laughs> Not going to give away any of my magic water. <laughs> you know my ass would have been bailed out of here like an hour ago. Taking one look at this place, I've been like, fuck. Nope, out. We're done. <laughs> See, a smiley face from you leads me to believe that shit's only just started getting bad. Like this shit over here. How did the horse get in here? I'm not going back in there. Lobby Kate was supposed to have come to work on this floor. But it's so dark. I can't find her without a light. Not even a joke about going in there. I can't see anything. Why do the people working here treat this as normal? There's nothing normal about any of this. IT security. Security room. Over a thousand cameras are watching out for your safety. Smile. We need, some, we need to kick up the music here. It's very dark. I won't go in there without a light. Initiation. Initiation of what? Wandering in the dark without a light. I'd rather not wander around here if I had one. An ink cartridge. Okay. if I do. I already did, though. It's empty. Pizza. Microwave equals pizza. Microwave. Takeout plus water equals Chinese takeout. Oh, nice! They actually have the water technique. Like, you have to you have to put water in the in the leftover Chinese food. You do, do not put leftover Chinese food in the microwave without wetting it. That's just a recipe for disaster. Two slices of bread and cheese to make grilled cheese. Mm-mm. And a coffee maker, which just makes coffee. 
Carton of dry noodles with the name erased. Should I take it? Hold these in my inventory indefinitely. I have the ingredients necessary to use the microwave. Oh, I need the panini press for the grilled cheese. Okay. Hi, my name is Pasternak. Pasternak, do you usually cry in the shower? What? Um, not really, no. I do it all the time. Oh, well, I'm sorry? My name is Malone. Nice to meet you. Do you live alone? Eh, no, I live with my parents. Well, I was. I have to get an apartment in the capital now. Delicious. The coffee? No. Okay, well, see you later. My office is in room B. We can hide there. Uh-huh. Looks like he's eating something, but the plate's empty. These cornflakes give you superpowers. <laughs> I'm gonna save that for later. I'm gonna edit that down. It's an empty box of cereal. Should I take it? What is with everyone here? Why are we all fucked up? dollars nice it's an altar five credits to make an offering but it's broken it can't be too difficult to fix where did see exit out of order it's a coffee vending machine 200 credits soda's 150 candy's 150 I don't need to wash anything right now should I make a cheese sandwich Covers a moderate amount of health. Wasn't a ton of health, huh? Wah, her. What? Oh. This water barrel's empty. Nothing interesting in there. According to the company magazine, it's Centricorp. You're not an employee. You're a leader. It's like an actual ad. It's a whole ass person there. still locked. Okay. Nothing interesting here. Yeah, again, I'm not a huge fan of how the camera, like, swings around. I wish it was a little more stable. So the Sintra AI robot thing, so the Hammer book is somewhere in the library. Getting a book shouldn't be too dangerous, right? I've never been afraid to, never had to be afraid of going to the library before. Screen reads, anyone seeking to borrow a book from the library will need to present a copy of form R301 with all relevant data filled in and sealed with the reference code of Centricorp. All documentation can be found in the archives. Got form R301. I have to fill out the book data. Let's see. Title, year, publica year publication, author, and publisher. Well, at least I know the title. Hex and Hammer. Now I need to find the rest of the data in the archives. It's a 
open letter here, it reads, On this topic, I could tell you that only very little that I've discovered. They called them witch papers, and they could be identified by their snake watermark. Rumor holds that they're cursed, but they said that they still offer several benefits. One of the more common is the ability to photocopy a soul. By photocopying a soul, the spirit is saved. Should you do this before dying, it'll reappear the moment you made the photocopy. Hmm, so when I photocopied my face on the witch paper earlier, it saved me? That seems very useful. Nothing interesting here. Okay, there'd be a sheet of witch paper in there. Authors, mobile archivers room, publication years, audio cassettes room, publishers, box store room. Pencil. Things I have shoved up my ass. Pencil. Very sharp and pointy pen. It's not a pen, it's a pencil. Can I hold more than eight items or am I gonna like have to throw something out? It's a photocopier, but it's out of ink. I'll need to replace the ink cartridge before I can use it. Oh, well, we happen to have an ink cartridge right here. Nope, right here. Should I photocopy my face with the witch paper? So I have three, so if I use this... Okay, now I'm down to two. So yeah, every time I save, it makes a new, it makes like another checkpoint. So I guess you could kind of go back if you fucked anything up. So like, if I go back here, oh, this is is this play time? No, it's time. It's actual time. Oh, interesting. Well, those first two. Okay, so the first save, save one, save one. I made that myself. Uh, that was that was that's automatically because what happened was I did a new game uh, when I first got it just to check it out and make sure it, you know I I like could could use it properly. That was back in February. This though, I don't know what this is. April second, nineteen seventy two, four at four eighteen a.m. What is this? Am I gonna get jump scared? Nothing in my inventory at all. I see you there with that emoji. You're 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 just like, ah, hey, he's gonna, he doesn't know. Not exactly. Does anything happen in here? Almost certain this will be important later. It's interesting that it's zero. It doesn't give you a location. And it's very specific. It's a very specific day and time. Reminds me of the dumb Delta Rune theories involving save files. To be fair, the more I hear about those, the more I'm starting to believe that there is something to that. Because why would De why does Delta Rune have three save files? Like, there's n there, why 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 does it have that many save files? Okay, so no no this file when I first downloaded the game, I loaded it and it made this file automatically. These two were made automatically. These were. These were manual. So it looks like I essentially just create checkpoints as I save more and more. Courtesy, I guess. I think there might be more. Because the thing is, we say it's courtesy, but like everything Toby Fox does in those games has some sort of purpose. Looks like a trap. 
triangle drawn in blood. Oh, another ink cartridge. Illuminati. Mobile archivers room. Maybe it's just a Dorito. <laughs> So many folders, I don't even know where to start. One day we'll be at the point where every breath Toby ta takes will spawn theories. <laughs> He's the new Kojima, yeah, pretty much. They're unimportant documents. Letter here, it reads, everything is computerized now, nobody works at the archives anymore. I've not seen the old Owl Man for years. Since then, this has stopped being a safe place. Nobody believes me, but I've seen something sinister roaming the bookcases. Oh, great. There are dead projects all theorized to be Metal Gear teasers, yeah. Is that? Oh, nice. A copy of Form R301. Wait, Hexenhammer? She was looking for the same book as me! Author A2. Nothing new, just a note in the author section. A2. She's dead. Perhaps I should take another look at her briefcase. Ah! You're fired. Continue load soul. Honestly, I was going to say your fire should at least throw him into an incinerator. <laughs> okay, so I cannot go over there unless I, like, move these. Oh, never mind. Centricorp Resurrects. It's a copy of the company magazine from 1973. Cover article is a picture of Centrum reads, Centricorp returns with their new development plan in robotics and computing. Okay, this was stupid of me. I don't know why I did that. Weeder. He hanged himself with his tie. I think I could untie it, but I can't reach it from here. That tells us there's going to be more than a few cheap deaths, yeah. It's changed all over again. I haven't, f I haven't beaten that game yet. Oh, what is this? Oh. It's a fuse box. There's a fuse missing. 
There's a ladder up there, but I can't reach it from here. Empty. Nothing interesting here. H. Kramer, J. Springer. This must be the authors of Hexenhammer. I'll fill in the form. But it's section B. I thought it was going to be an A2. There's an old folder here. Alpha and a star with eight, seven points on it. Wow, free ink. So cheap. Looks like some kind of riddle. Maybe it's leading me to another bookshelf? Wait, seriously? Did I accidentally brute force that by, by guessing it was in B3 or whatever? I, I guess I did. A, seven points. I don't quite understand what that means, though. Spiders, painted in blood, because uh, of course they are. Rain of spiders, God damn it! Looks like a triangle drawn in blood, so we have two triangles and a square. My wing is broken, I could go down, but I haven't dropped anything down there. Boy, a slice of bread. Ugh. Two packets of coffee powder. Pencil. Soda. Nothing useful. Seems there's no power. I'm gonna stumble around the dark. A photocopier, but it's out of ink. Uh, well, we'll come back to that. Whack Donalds, yeah. My favorite McDonald's knockoff, Whack Donalds. No power.
Why? Ooh, where's the light switch? here. Sandwich wrapped in aluminum foil. Cheese sandwich wrapped in foil. God, the amount of bootleg McDonald's in anime here. Yeah. So there's two triangles and a square. Uh, square, triangle, triangle, and there's also triangle, square, no, never mind, I think there's only one with that specific uh, number of squares, so square, triangle, triangle. Tapes have symbols on the labels, but they don't ring a bell. So it'll be third in to right. Square triangle triangle. This should be the place. Take a look at the covers. Bingo. This one reads Hexenhammer. An audio tape. Cassette players required to listen to it. Of course it is. No, no, I'm a normal worker. What do you want from me? Why are you bothering me? Uh, who are you? I'm not a hunter either, like you. Hey, do you need help? You're bleeding, aren't you? Sombering offering to help in this company is one of two things, a rookie or a liar. I'm, I'm supposed I'm a rookie. I'm from the suburbs. I see, you're poor and miserable, like me. I also come from the suburbs. I worked as an electrician like my father and grandfather before me. I suppose you already know how hard it is, how few resources there are. Where I'm from, from an early age, the only thing we want is to get out of here. I was happy, or so I thought, but when that red letter arrived... Did you also get one? I see. Turns out in addition to being a rookie, you're also a liar, aren't you? Hunter. And you, also. Listen, you seem like a good kid. I don't want to frighten you. Can I help you out? Do you think about this book that I need to find? It's called Hexenhammer. Ugh, don't talk to me about that damned book. I managed to find half the info I needed from the form, but one set of those damn minds blew up and set the stupid thing on fire. Damn, I'm sorry. So you know where I could find the rest of the data? Did you see the sign at the entrance? It tells you which room each piece of information is in. Can you think about those things on the ground which explode? I've been caught out by several of those mines. You know if there's any way of deactivating them? You mean to kill them? They're not machines, more like you would spawn. I've seen dead ones, so there must be a way to kill them, but I don't know it. You told me you were an electrician. Would you know how to turn the lights on upstairs? There's a fuse missing from the fuse box. Fuse box. You can replace it with anything made of metal, so as long as it fits. Hmm. Check the items in your briefcase carefully. You get a lot of information if you look at them up up close. Thank you. Thank you, and I hope that you get well soon. My pencil. This game went places while you were making pizza, yeah. We 
Hey, do you want your sandwich back? I was gonna make a sandwich, but I was feeling kind of saucy. Nice. Pizza is always a good option. Do I have a piece of metal that'll fit in there? The sandwich? Yep. Perhaps if I use the foil wrapper. Got one cheese sandwich. Seems like it's working. This should turn on the power to the rooms upstairs. been photocopied. Oh! Mortist. We've been mortist. Okay. Good thing I saved. Yep. Water in a microwave to create a bowl of noodles. Okay, there's no way I'm getting in here, huh? the eyeball room. Duck is closed. I can't move barehanded. Oh, I don't like this. Mysterio. There's a bomb right there. All oh, those mind things. Oh, this one seems to be dead. It's been stabbed with a pencil. Cat's just got diarrhea, yeah. Gross! But cool. The tape player works with cassette tapes. Wonder what will be on this cassette. Voice said 1486. That's to be the year of publication. I'll write it down in the form. It's a video player. I need a VHS tape.
<laughs> Yuppie, there is indeed a psycho in this building. Hello. Hi, my name is Brian, or I mean Pasternak. I can't hear you. Oh. Uh, excuse me, could you? I'm listening, you don't need to shout. Oh, sorry, I don't mean to be a nuisance. My name's Pasternak. Can I ask you about... Have you heard of a book called The Hex and Hammer? No. Oh, I thought maybe you worked on this floor and you could help me. No. Do you think about those weird mines on the ground? Is there a way to deactivate them? Pencil. Pencil? Yes. Do you mean that you use a pencil to kill them, or that you need a pencil to tell me how to kill them? I'm not listening to you. I'm watching a movie. Right, okay, thank you. I will try with a pencil. Stab it with the pencil, yep. The kindergartner's sword. <laughs> oh, they are cats! These are cat food bowls, they're empty. Here, have your food, lovely cats. Cats out of the bag. Cats are eating, better not disturb them. There's a crack in the wall. Why am I, like, sliding? He's a slick guy. Meow meow. Oh, there was an item there. I just clicked A randomly. Pizza's pretty good, by the way. Should have made a crust a tad crispier, though. I'm, I like softer crust myself. Not a fan of the really, like, crunchy crust. Crispy. Sakura crispy. More pencils! Ed, Ulsten Verlag. This has to be the publishing house. I'm gonna write it down the form. Thanks, ass. Who was that? Okay, this is a problem now. I think I can make it out of the dark without getting blown up. Cool. Say that and immediately get hurt. Can't reach from here. I have to get a little closer. Just pulled a Half-Life 1 Gordon Freeman on us and turned the light switch off to be a dick, yeah. 30 credits. Sheet of witch paper. Nice. Cool. Oh, let's eat the grilled cheese. 
Yeah, that restores a lot of health. The audacity of that frog, yeah. I'm pretty sure that was Hugo. Okay, there's gotta be something hidden down there. Looks like there's some goodies down there. It's a VHS tape titled Video Club Mysterio Chrysalis. Chrysalis. Sibilance, sibilance, testing. One, two, three, sibilance, sibilance. Black Gaze album looks pretty sick, not gonna lie. Well, I think this is everything. The form's all filled out. I think I can get out of here and see if I can get into the library now. Oh, a tape of that one in the game with the cool soundtrack? Nice. Game looks also looks really good for NES. No, this is an NES game. <laughs> Video tape clips I have. Video Club Mysterial. Love NES games that push the hardware. I can't tell if you're joking or not. Chrysalis. No, no, I meant the cr oh Crystallis. Oh. 1990 X, October 19th. Cut their bandages. Oh god, it's rain of spiders. What the hell is happening here? What is this? Welcome to art class. <laughs> okay. It's like no point in not getting all the water, right? No, it doesn't seem to be RPG Maker. I actually don't know what this game was made in. May have been made in Unity, I'm not sure. Don't censor R3 101 to form with the, with the computer, yeah. Error? After all that? Read Centracorp Seal needed. Centracorp Seal? Perhaps I should ask Sintra. I'll go back to my office and talk to her. I don't like the fact. Woohoo! <laughs> I was going to say, I don't like the fact that the elevator does not automatically show up. <laughs> it leads me to believe there's going to be a point where I'm calling it and I'm going to have to, like, run around while it's loading up. White woman jump scare, yeah. There's a reverse of that in, uh, in Faith Chapter 3, where you could randomly, while you're riding an elevator, a woman, like, comes into the elevator and then just kills you. Hello? Hello? Yes, her too. Need to finish Faith. It's such a cool game. I've only seen the three games played. I have not played them myself. Yeah, it's because it's a new boy who just started. Haven't you heard? I could tell you whatever you want to know about him. Oh no, there's no need. Thank you. How delicious. Delicious indeed. Have you not brought more lunchboxes? 
If he's gone mad, it'd be best to just lock him up and let her take care of that nut. Don't you think? <laughs> A pleasure. My name is Rostov. I work on the fifth floor. I'm pleased to meet you. Did you hear? Well, I don't know. Hear what? Someone's written obscenities on the canteen whiteboard again. Hugo, I suppose. Faith is truly a gem. I'll hope there'll be more of it. I think it's I think I think it's done. I think it's very much meant to be a trilogy. I am curious to see what Airdorf will do next though. Cuz that game blew the fuck up. New Blood games are always on point. Yep. Gonna play Terraria now? Cool. Take care. No, but I feel like there's more to it than it seems. Probably. Again, I didn't really pay much attention to the story of Faith all that well. All that much. It's just cool because of all the rotoscoping. Hello, Mr. Pasternak. Hello. How are you? How are you getting on? Well, well, I'm getting by. The keyboard and the computers and that, the mouse, click, click. Is everything all right? Uh, yeah. Haha. <laughs> so, do you already know what your responsibilities are? Uh, management of... Notary management of members... Uh-huh. Hey, what about Hugo? Hugo? I don't see him at his desk. Do you know where he is? Faith gives you similar vibes to the album Geo Daddy. Oh, Geo Gotti, excuse me. He left a while ago. Why, why? Nothing, forget it. Hey. Fun fact, Geodaddy's an in-joke in the community, huh? What? Yes? Has anyone talked to you about her yet? Her? Yes, you already know. Um, I don't. Of the... Which... Um, no, no, that doesn't ring any bells. Geogaddy by Boards of Canada. I have not listened to a lot of Boards of Canada. I know their music can get, uh... Rather weird. Well, you have to be very careful, Pasternak. You you know something about this wit? Careful. She's everywhere. This company's like an apple that fell from the tree, Pasternak. What do you mean? It looks normal on the outside, but it's rotten on the inside. She is the worm that lives inside of it. And if it catches you, if she catches you, you will become one of her... Children. What? Well, hello, you two. Am I interrupting something? What are you up to in this hidden corner? Pasternak, do you already have the Goth Club card? Goth Club? Sosa loves all those weird things. Horror films, role-playing games, comic books. She even started a geek club called Video Club Mysterio. Careful, she might kidnap you and take her to, her, to their secret lair. There's only two members. <laughs> Dude just walking in like he's not up to something. It was clearly him in the mask. How's tricks, Pastor Neck? I see that you're still working. Are you already adapting to the company? Yeah, well, more or less. Hey, were you in the archives just now? Pastor Neck, it's my birthday today. Oh, happy birthday. Thanks, workmate. Listen, we're going to take a break later and have a bit of a party. What do you think? Oh, uh, well, I'll still, if I'll still... If I'll still be here later. We'll see if I'll still be here later. This works very hard. Come on, man. Cheer up. You have to stay. Everyone ends up staying. <laughs> yeah, he's dodging the question pretty hard.
coffee. Sussy. God damn it, everyone's saying sussy now. Sintra? What's that voice? Sintra? I beg your pardon. What's a swing doing here? It's an application focused on rest and relaxation. Don't you want to try it? Me? No thanks. Maybe later. I want to talk to you about that book you wanted me to find. I found all the data and filled in form R301. Excellent, Mr. Pasternak. To be able to access the library, you will need the Central Corp seal that I myself... <gasps> that I myself can provide you. The final form is now printing in your office. It will be available to collect once you log out of Sintranet. Thank you. I didn't write that the brainworm did. Hold on, I can make this a little more authentic. Hold on. You already have the form with the hex and hammer data. Use it to enter the library and then find the book. Hey, you told me earlier that my job was confidential, that I shouldn't say anything to anyone for my own safety. Correct, Mr. Pasternak. Discretion is one of our company. Discretion is one of our company's maxims. Some employees may be in league with the witch. So there are people helping out the witch. So there are people helping out the witch? Excuse me. Correct. It is entirely possible that she could be one of your co-workers. It's advised that you refrain from revealing to the witch that you are hunting her. I see. Let's see, but where? Okay. But where? Hey, do you know anything about, um, Children of the Witch? I am sorry, I have no records of anything named Witch's Children. Why do you ask? Someone warned me about them. Hmm, the Witch has been hiding in this company and spreading corruption for decades. Most of my predictions show that she is likely to have affected every person in this company, to some degree, with particularly weak-willed individuals possibly falling completely under her sway. You should be careful, Mr. Pasternak. We have a little fun on stream sometimes. Sweet child of mine. These spirits of brain speaking at different times. already have the form with all the hex and hammer data. Use it to enter the library and find the book. Does this sound like I think it is? One, two, ah, uh, ah, uh, there we go. Okay, so I got a new mic. Tell me what you think of it. It sounds pretty good, doesn't it? It is my uh, excellent new uh, USB mic from 2006, right when I decided I wanted to be a voice actor. Sounds amazing, doesn't it? Why don't you move over to the side? Uh. 
I got like a few things here. I got Waz. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, enough fucking around. You have the hex and data, motherfucker. It came free with your fucking job. Memo, we remind all new employees that the weekly motivational talk with Colonel Dumont will begin at 11 a.m. Your presence is requested in meeting room C. Thank you. Motivational talk? At Centricorp. Shit. God damn it. At Centricorp, we believe in a holistic approach to employee engagement and take a proactive stance towards the empowerment of the social and collaborative qualities of our employees using motivational talks. Sorry, I have, to, I have to do a lot of button pushing to go back to the normal mic. You got Form R301. I sound normal now, right? I don't want managing data, Pasternak. You have a computer? Have a little fun with it. Yeet. Okay. From a fellow round frames wearer, would you agree that round frames are epic? Yes. Uh, I don't wear round frames myself. I have ovals. I I like portraying myself wearing round frames, but uh, I do not wear them in real life. can equip or unequip quickly with ZL and ZR. There's a note which reads, the flashlight is almost out of batteries, but still kind of works. It's a red book. Pages are blank. Oh, are we missed now? We missed in? Dude hit the gritty too hard, god damn. It's a book stand. It's still a book stand. It's a book stand. Just a little book stand. An epic way to go out, but still hurts to see, yeah. here though oh the yellow book nice the yellow pages not call people it's a wooden cart with an owl on it it's got wheels so I can push it easily Three batteries. Oh look, it's brighter now. There's a green book, but I can't take it out. The display cabinet is locked. Blue book, like Kelly. 
I don't know who Kelly is, but everyone talks about Kelly Blue Book. And Project Blue Book. Oh, fuck. It's a pedestal with a button. Shall I push it? Two blank eight. That's not eight. Thirteen. Okay. No, 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 no. Red two, yellow thirteen. Owls, you like owls? I like owls too. They're good. They're good boys. Woohoo! Thirteen is yellow. So where does blue go? Hugo, where does blue go? Oh, look, it moved. Eight. Oh, maybe moving the carts moves the... Oh, there's a green book too. Uh, blue is eight. Okay. Wait. Should bring back your owl sona sometimes? Nice. Yeah, it is eight. Okay. for the flashlight. Current battery level's at 66. Battery count, 2. Hmm. Looks like the position of the owls might have something to do with it, too. me again. This is the end. Bingo, bango, bongo. It's a letter. It says, my friend, I would not trust any member of this company. More so now as it slowly destroys itself. Anyone may, won't, may, anyone may be one of her children, and there's no way to know. We three are all who can be trusted. Signed, A.M. says, with the dagger in the hands of the crow, I pray this nightmare ends. Now I leave in your hands the report of his progress. Signed, A.M. It 
It's a letter. It reads, You cannot have sent worse news. You must hide as soon as possible and delete any record of our names. If she discovers our identities, we are lost. Signed, A.M. Hello. Old piece of paper here. Oh, it's an owl. Unfortunate soul post Undertale, they trusted the Spider Woman. <laughs> Oosbu. Got an illustration. Looks like a human body wrapped in a kind of chrysalis. It's sticky and it stinks. Yuck. Don't see anything useful here. This, this thing is reading a book. It may be... Yes, it's Hexenhammer. Should I take it? Mr. Mummy, if you don't mind, I need to take this book. Please don't wake up. Does spider silk even really have a smell? I mean, I guess everything kind of has a smell. At last, I can take this damn book to Sintra and get the hell out of here. Not gonna be that easy, is it? Hello? I cannot let you take the old man's favorite book. Oh no. No, 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 no. Locked up with spider webs. I can't get out. Spoiler. Don't let the spider bite you. That doesn't work. Pushing the damn carts. Can't you see my little ones get scared? I think it was gonna be something like that. Nah, burn him. Bo burn him. There we go. I figured out how to do it. That's using my pastor noodle. Oh no. Why are you traveling like that now? I think it's gone. Look, an owl. 
Hoot hoot. I don't need the flashlight right now. I'll keep it off so I don't waste the batteries. Got one battery left. Me leaving. We out. Also because it's 3 a.m. Let me uh, remember to do this. <sighs> Frogtober's over. I can no longer be frog on Twitter. I have to go back to being bird. And three. All my food groups, oval, circle, and pink. Which bans me for substance abuse because I take medicine on stream. <laughs> there we go. Oh, God bless that amoxicillin. 3 a.m., yeah. Oh boy, 3 a.m. I'm probably going to go for another 30 minutes or so and then stop. And then uh, we'll resume this tomorrow. Where's everyone? He's a vulpe. Okay. Multiple eyes. What kind of meds? Uh, amoxicillin and just some painkillers. It's to help me with my uh, inflamed gums or inflamed gum from my uh, impact of wisdom tooth, which I will be getting removed, but not until uh, not until December. So the amoxicillin is to uh, hopefully eliminate the the swelling. Hammer of Witches, an extremely old book full of information on how to find and destroy witches. Here's the book. Use Texan Hammer. Shit, hold on. Excellent work, Mr. Pasternak. No, no, no more Mr. Pasternak. Is something wrong? Look, Sintra, I've just come face to face with a kind of mechanized man spider that was throwing bombs with eyes at me, and there was a mummy in the dark, and, 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 and... And, well, this isn't for me. I'm, I'm not gonna fit in here. I thought this was going to be a normal office job. Checking papers and going out for coffee at mid-morning. I understand how you feel, Mr. Pasternak. We know that this is not an easy task, and that you have a special responsibility within the company. On behalf of Centricorp, I would like to also convey our full confidence in your capabilities. I would also like to inform you that I personally see great potential in you. The fact that you've got the book just proves it. Ah, thank you very much. Let me remind you that your efforts are not overlooked at Centricorp. As a reward for your work, you'll receive a bonus of 1,000 credits, which I will transfer to your account. If you'd like, let's have a... whoops. My, my, my voice modulator broke there. If you'd like, let's have a look at the contents of this book. Aha, uh -huh. interesting. Reading completed. This book is from the 15th century, which was created to identify and hunt witches. As language is <laughs> shutting down. As language has changed since then, I will summarize the relevant details. First, where to find a witch. Witches make their layers in places which have a deep meaning or bond to their lives. Although their hiding places are often separated from urban cult centers, thanks to their human appearance, they can infiltrate nearby communities with few issues. Uh. How did that sound with auto-tune on? <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh. That was stupid. Doesn't sound good at all. 
One, two, ah, uh, where? I can't hear myself. The monitor's not high enough. Second, how to recognize a witch. Witches are those women who have made a pact with the devil. They transform and manipulate men, steal babies to raise them as their own children, and fly with the aid of a broom. Although they spend most of their existence alone, they usually have several acolytes or followers. Among them are the so-called familiar spirits, companion animals that carry out their orders. Any woman can be a rich, a rich, any woman can be rich, any woman can be a witch, since one of their powers is transmigration, the ability to swap bodies with another. And finally, how to kill a witch. Although fire is the most effective method to eradicate the majority of witches, there are tales of exceptionally powerful witches throughout history who have proven to be immune to flames. According to my records, in fact, our witch was burned alive several decades ago. However, her curse has continued to spread throughout the company. According to the book, the only way to put an end to the most powerful witches is to use a special ritual dagger called a thame. This weapon of great power can also have a de deterrent effect, warning witches away from the wielder. This all sounds like a fairy tale. What do you mean? Well, everybody knows witches don't exist, and if they really existed, I don't think they'd fly on a broom. They're hardly aerodynamic, and it would be so uncomfortable. I mean, you want me to go to question women all over the company and try stabbing them with a knife? I'm pretty sure that would also kill people who aren't witches. It's clear, really clear, that something strange happens in this company, but I doubt very much the problem will be solved from using a witch hunting guidebook from... 500 years ago? Can't you see that doesn't make any sense? Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna put my life on the line for this. Again, I'll just go to my office and I'll sit in my chair and I won't disturb anyone. You are sitting in your office right now. What was that? There is an event planned. Leave the session as soon as possible. Brian, remember not to reveal your real job to anyone. Wait, did you call me Brian? Well, that explains where the horseshit came from. You, what are you still doing here? I, I, I... Oh, mon dieu, get your ass to the meeting room. Come on, come on, come on. What are you? We are the lowest of the low. I doubt it. What are you? We're garbage. My horse's ass smells better than you do. Your shit. What should you be? The best. What? The best of the best. And how are you going to achieve this? With our work. I don't want your dirty work. What else do you have? Our blood. Let's see, Mr. Hugo, come closer. Hugo, what are you? I'm the lowest of the low. Well, I didn't know the lowest smelled like a sewer. It's because I'm garbage. That describes you better, but what should you be? The best! What? The best of the best! I see, and how do you intend to achieve this? With my work. But you are a bum, Mr. Hugo. What else do you have? With my blood! Alright, 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 you can go back to your place. Today I want to talk to you about something very important, a legend that you all know. I want to tell you about the witch. I think I messed up. The witch is among us. Oh, fuck. Hold on. I have to do it. The witch is among us, comrades. And she has the form of a woman. I don't consider myself sexist, but I'm gonna power through it anyway. But it's like that. It's a fact. It could be the lady you chat with by, about the weather in the elevator, the girl you drink coffee with, lend pens to, or maybe you send her a fax in triplicate. 
but Colonel, everyone knows witches aren't real. Oh yeah, yeah, let me tell you something that happened to me a few weeks ago. Dada and I were in the canteen, chatting with friends, having a snack. They were our well-earned 15 minutes of rest. When I realized, sacre bleu, it was more than half an hour since we came down. We had to get back to our job as soon as possible. We don't get paid for drinking coffee. We all crowded into the elevator and hammered the button to our floor, hoping that the evil machine would move faster. The elevator went up to our floor at a turtle's pace, and just before the doors opened, crown our chance, the elevator was blocked. No matter how hard we pushed it, the doors wouldn't open. I tried in vain to calm us all down. These setbacks are normal. It was only a matter of time before it worked again. But the truth was, I didn't succeed. My desire to get out of there and reach my destination grew exponentially every second. Not just me. I saw Dada suffered from the same exasperated anguish. Something ran up my spine. Silky lips, a woman's lips, kissed me on the cheek. And in that very moment... The lights went out. Without light, people exploded into chaos. Everybody started shouting, pushing, shoving, hammering on the doors to get out. And then we heard a sound. Like a razor blade cutting through an eyeball. Ugh. That sharp sound went through my entire nervous system. At that moment, we all knew that death had come to take us away. That she, the witch, was among us. Around me, I began to hear the cries of, of a pain from my companions. It was a slaughterhouse. I couldn't believe this was happening to me. Mon Dieu, pourquoi? I cried. Then a miracle happened. The doors opened and let the heavenly light from my floor enter. This caused Dada to awaken from the trance and, like a great unconscious spark, he took a great leap out of the elevator and escaped from that nightmare. <laughs> Guessing Dada is the horse. A great sigh of relief came from our lungs. We were safe. But just before the doors closed, covering up that whole icy massacre, that whole massacre, icy lips hissed their way up to my spine again, this time to my ears, and they whispered three words to me. Three words I'll remember all my life. Work. 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 What did she say to me? I hope you learn not to loiter in the canteen, or you know what's waiting for you. All right, all right, all right. You all are looking good today. Now then, I think we have a new recruit. Yeah, you. You. What's your name, boy? Uh, hi. My name is Pasternak. Kid, you see this horse? It's a majestic looking horse. Yes, yeah, sure, sure. His name is Dada, and he replaces all my virile impotence. I don't have to prove anything when I'm on Dada. I'm a superior being. I'm Charlemagne. But you, though, down there, you're nobody. If you don't make yourself noticed, if you don't stand tall and push out your chest and scream like a man hunting a mammoth, if you don't, look, come closer. <laughs> Drop that briefcase. You don't need to hide behind any shields. Be a man, for God's sake. Well? Well? Your name? Ah, uh, yes. My name is Pasternak. Pasternak, did you know that your last name is of Jewish-European origin? Um, no. It means parsnip. From this moment on, that will be your new name. Boy, I see you need motivation. No, no, just, I'm super motivated. With each failure, you lose 200 credits. What? Parsnip, what are you? Uh, I'm the lowest of the low. Yuck, my horse can't stand your stench. Uh, I'm garbage. But what should you be? Which are invisible. The shit. <laughs> the best. What? I didn't hear you right. I'm a parsnip, the best of the best. And how do you intend to achieve this? With my work. That's not enough, parsnip. What else you got? My credits, my, my blood. Well, 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 since you're new, I'll give you a motivational task for your initiation. You don't have to really... 
It's all right. It's a favor I'm doing for you. You sure need a little push. What could it be? Let Dada choose, Colonel. Like in the old days. What a great idea. Let Dada decide. Let's see, Dada. On what motivational task can we send the parsnip? Oh, what a great idea. Is this for real? Sacre bleu. Dada has been benevolent to giving you an easy task. Pasternak, you'll have to make a friend in the office. But what office? There's a lot of them in the building. Colonel, I thought it hurt. I thought... I heard it... Yeah. Colonel, I thought I heard it must be someone from the fourth floor, from the hive. Splendid. In this way, synergies will be generated between floors. Dada, my friend, you are a genius. Is that clear to you, Parsnip? I have to make a friend in the hive. Perfect. And that concludes today's motivational session. Now get to work. Parsnip. Hey, you left your briefcase in the conference room. Ah, oh, thank you. Just a little out of sorts after everything that just happened. <laughs> it's normal. It's best to play along. You'll get used to it. And I'm glad that horse did, I did that horse trick. Colonel's mad as a hatter. Who knows here who would have been, who knows where he would have sent you. Also, human resources are in the hive. Make a friend there, and who knows, they might raise your salary. Or they might even change your job. Well, I'll see you around. Pasternak, are you a man of flesh or blood? Oh, how disappointing. Still, I hope you've got some tricks up your sleeve. I don't have anything to say to her, but I better talk to her later. Hello, how are you? I cannot. I said no. I'm sorry. No, but no, it's impossible. Ooh, a battery. Financial article from May 1971 that someone's cut out. The swift and unexpected fluctuation of the shares of Syndicorp, one of the most reliable companies of the last decade, has called into question the world's major stock exchanges. Experts predict that if the situation continues until the end of the year, the international community can enter an unprecedented recession. Ooh, dry noodles. Which paper? Hello, how are you? Okay, alright, super good, hyper good, mega good, ultra good. Hi, Rostov, right? Oh, hello, darling. How are you? How's your first day at work? Well, it could be better. Oh, I saw you looked like you looked a bit lost during that motivational meeting. If you want, I'll give you the details on what's on our floor in no time. Leaving aside the zombies, you've got Sosa and Mappy. They're best friends, but they only talk to each other. I think they're a couple, because I'm sure this level of social exclusion can't be normal. Anyway, you already know Sosa. Mappy, since you act, is even worse. Do you notice her face? Something wrong with the poor girl's skin. And we've got that lizard over there. Malone. I think she's listening to you. Good. Did you know she used to be my friend? Well, I'll tell you about I'll tell you about it another time. You try not to get too close to her. There's Colonel Dumont also. You've experienced him firsthand. He has delusions of grandeur, but he actually has a minor position. I'd say he's actually beneath us. And Hugo? Oh, Hugo. You've named the worst of them all. He's a pig, a jerk, and a prankster with no grace. But he's born with the company the longest. He's been with the company the longest. He was there before I got here, and so if you have any problem, he's the one who knows the company best, and he is always willing to help. Look at this, I was having trouble sleeping, and Hugo gave me these pills. A miracle cure. Wow, those are some big bags under your eyes. Do you want the pills? Alright, thanks. They could come in handy. Well, you usually sleep like a log. Here, go on. You don't know what it's actually like to sleep until you try them. Speaking of Hugo, by the way, it's his birthday, and we're throwing him a surprise party in the canteen later. Oh, well, maybe I'll drop by. I'll see if I have time. But he's your office mate. You have to go. And more importantly, you have to help us prepare everything. You can't run away, honey. You've been warned. Sleepy pills from Rostov. Immediate sedative effect. Ooh, 
Ugh. Burping up that Brahmin. Table with several plastic candles. It says offerings may be made to the holy ho most holy AM. Should I make an offering? It's five credits. We made an offering. I think that's enough. VHS tape, tape titled Video Club Mysterio from the Drain. Got a VHS tape. I noticed that this door is stuck and there's a vent above it, so. What does that tell you? Statue of powder coffee costs 125 credits. No. Pencil costs 100. Nope. Resistant carbon boss box costs box box. Hello. She can't hear me. She's listening to music. I can't hear you. You're listening. I'm listening to music. I want to buy something? Take it and leave the money. Oh, okay, thanks. Again, can't hear you. What should I sell? Oh, you could sell the items I have. Cool. Oh, this is the room where we had the meeting. I guess that makes sense why there's horse shit in there. It's Dada. He's laying a big doo-doo on the floor. Dumont and the witch. All that stuff Dumont said about a witch. What was that all about? I knew you were going to ask me about that, Pasternak. I hope the colonel didn't freak you out. There's a legend that's been going around for a while now. That there's a witch in the company. I didn't tell you about it because I didn't want to scare you even more on your first day. But I have to tell you, I've known who the witch is for a long time. I can feel her presence right now. She's very, very close to us. Where are you hiding that broom, Sosa? Hey, seriously, now. I know people say the lower classes are more superstitious. Are more super. Bleh. I know people say that the lower classes are more superstitious. But you wouldn't believe all that bullshit, would you? Me? Well, of course not. Ah, oh, shit. to the motivational meeting. Oh my gosh, this guy's out of his mind. And after everything else today, I don't even think I'm surprised. 
Those meetings have been organized to boost your productivity and emotional worth within the company. Just so you know, he set, on a t he set me on a task. Supposedly I have to make a friend on the fourth floor. I see. Do you want a hug? What? Hug is the term for a direct discharge of oxytoc token tox the oxytocin to your neurotransmitters, which is the same as a real hug with a duration of 20 seconds. It's it's not necessary, thanks. Then I ask you to prioritize the elimination of the witch. Motivational tasks are not mandatory. Don't forget what we hired you for, Mr. Pasternak. Oh. Yes? You called me Brian before, and now you've called me Mr. Pasternak again. Probably. Sorry about the mistake, Mr. Pasternak. No, no. Call me Brian, please. Mr. Pasternak sounds like my father. On the outskirts, the first name is always used for young people, not the surname. Debugged error. As you wish, Brian. enough there. Represents the witch's lair. For now, the only thing we know is that it's a place with some sentimental value for her. It represents the identity of the witch. Until now, we only knew she had to be female. Well, it's not much help. It's not useless. According to the company employee log, 75% of the employees here are male. So you can just concentrate your search on the 25% of the people in this building. The witch is immune to fire. The only way to kill her is with a ritual dagger, a thane. Until now, we haven't had any information on the whereabouts of this weapon. Yeah, swapping the mics isn't a quick process. Oh, look at this. Yes, but a horse. <laughs> Horns. Glowy stick, yeah. Oh, the music stopped. Go back to the ground floor for a moment. Oh yeah, floor six just isn't here. Seems like I can come and go as I please. Nobody's here to stop me, but if I finish my work day, I'll get a lot of credits. Like, I was like, oh, I don't want to do this, but it's like, oh, well, I get money. Won't open. You want to participate in the promotion test? What's your name? Brian Pasternak. Sorry, but you do not work on this floor. You cannot participate in the promotion test. Rummage in the trash. That's what your sort is like, isn't it? Uh, hello. How are you? Excuse me, do I know you? Death Dash, yeah. We met in the lobby earlier. I'm the guy from the suburbs. 
Why do they let you in? Are you a sweeper or something? No, I'm working on the fifth floor. Ah, so you work on the fifth floor. Boy, how I envy you. With how difficult it is to get that far up in a company as competitive as Centricorp. Congratulations, workmate. Oh, excuse me, I can call you workmate, can't I? Yes, of course. Well, the fifth floor is not such a big thing, actually. You think that I'm stupid? Damned miserable liar. I'm going to call security and get your ass kicked out of here immediately. Yuck, I can't stand your stench. Like garbage. Hey, you don't have to... Get out of my sight. Let me work. Who stops dies. Who stops dies. What? Uh, no, 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 no. I haven't stopped. I was just relaxing my muscles. I'm on the move again. If I get in trouble because of you, I'll rip your eyes out with my bare hands. Get out of here. What kind of work will this be? He seems busy. Better not annoy him now. Or just the exit out of order. Oh, the battery. <laughs> this greenish air burns my lungs. paper. Alright, alright, I see. I see what's going on here. Can't walk around in the poison. Oh, it's 3.30. I gotta stop. Alright, next time I get to a save point, I'm gonna photocopy my ass and stop. Ha! Ha! Wasn't that Kate, the girl I met in the lobby? Oh, he damaged me. I swear he's eating some computer cables. T -t get out, get out, get out! Nothing interesting here. Fuck, dude! Excuse me, what are you queuing for? I'm not telling you. <laughs> hey, cartridge. Toss him a Snickers, yeah. It's empty. Took a break to cry. It's good to shed a few tears every 50 minutes. Oh, I see. Okay, so they get a little aggravated when you get close to them. Yeah, they make a noise. Travel magazines. Don't see anything interesting in any of them. Coffee vending machine. Nah. Nah. Hello. 
It's not the place to talk, Mr. Pasternak. We're under surveillance. Just so sorry. Did, do we know each other? Nobody could see us together. We will find out your evaluation later. We will find you for your evaluation later. Until then, pretend. Okay, whatever you say. Cuticle's broken, but I can't get to the other side. Seems very focused on his screen. Oh, this place is way bigger than it seems. But it's blue, yeah. Circling something. A giant printer? Battery. Nope. Oh, that's. Yeah, that's poison gas. We don't want to go down there. No, 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 no. Nice. It says Centricorp is Superacorp. Reads life is what happens while you're making slogans. Screen is blank. Message the screen. I offer you peace, I offer you love, I offer you friendship, I offer you yoga. Photocopies, copies, copies. One sheet of witch paper. Alright. We're gonna save and we'll talk to uh we'll talk to her next time. This is an interesting game, to say the least. I didn't really know what I was expecting going into this, but, uh, it's- it's something. Hive, secret room, okay. Signed a contract with Sintra Corp. Saved your game with the photocopier, access Sintranet, get the hex and hammer. So what have I gotten? It's... Pink is what I've gotten. Use Sinatra- use Sintra Swing. Has Colonel Dumont's test without making any mistakes. Find feed Sosa's cats. What was initiate the initiation test we do do later? Here. I'm not, not looking at it too thoroughly. Uh, extras. Oh, we can we just watch the other video? Nope, I have to actually go and watch them in, in game to see them first. Okay, so this just lets you rewatch tapes. Alright, cool. Cutscenes. Right, yeah, just those. Makes sense. Gallery. Uh, this was already fully unlocked to begin with. This is just inch images. That's that's something right there. Uh, original soundtrack. I believe this is all already unlocked from the beginning. credits and options. Okay, cool. Alright, well, this was a pretty, uh, pretty cool game. I'm enjoying this, and we'll definitely do more of this soon. I think this is supposed to take, like, 
12, 15 hours to beat? I don't know. This version of the game has extra endings in it, too, so... I don't know, uh, quite how much of this I'll be doing on stream. I might use a guide for some of the later stuff if it gets, like, really convoluted. But, uh, yeah, I had fun. I had fun doing this. I had fun eating crappy pumpkin ramen. This was a- this was a good Halloween. Not scary, but- but good. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for coming by. If you want to watch more streams... Why does it say... I've only been live for six minutes. Did I, like, go offline and come back online? Damn it. Fucking Twitch, man. <sighs> One second. Yeah, I must have gone offline at some point. I hope I wasn't offline too long. God damn. All right. Well, it says six minutes, so it couldn't be that long ago. Cool, cool, cool. Well, that's truly the scariest bit of Halloween here. L losing connection to Twitch. All right. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it. If you want to watch more streams, check out twitch.tv slash team slash wild abandon. Plenty of people streaming there right now. Excuse me. Burp that crappy ramen again. Um, I will be around this week. Uh, I don't for- t I don't- Thanks, the- Yeah, of course. I don't anticipate losing any more streams to the toothache stuff. In fact, my tooth is- feels pretty good. So I won't have to worry about it. We'll do more of this this week. Hopefully finish it before next week. And then, uh, Sonic and Pokemon for probably the next month. Month and a half. But yeah. Have a great evening, everyone. Take care. And have a happy- Happy Halloween. Or have a happy Halloween. Had a happy- uh, Fuck. Fuck. It's already over. Shut up.